In this video, we're going to talk about three ways you can get your smart home into the Halloween action. For example, we can take this and automate it with Home Assistant. No programming or soldering needed. So stick around because you're probably gonna wanna automate some spooky stuff. Welcome back to Slacker Labs, my name is Jeff. Spooky season is of course in full swing. Here, we were a little late getting started with our holiday decoration, and you may be in the same situation. In any case, no matter where you're at in your process, I wanted to give you three ways that you can use Home Assistant to add to the holiday fun. I did a video on this one before, and I'll leave a link to it in the description because it is one of my favorite automations. Every Halloween evening, an automation kicks off a script that simply turns my house into a haunted house, and it's really easy to set up. All you need is some connected media players around your house. We have one in almost every room now. And then this script simply plays random sound effects in random rooms. If you wanna see the finer details on how I set that up, check out that video. You definitely don't have to get as crazy as I did. But I do think the random nature of the sounds and the rooms really adds to the effect. And of course, you could add in other things like random lighting effects and anything else you can think of that's tied to your smart home. But we also use Home Assistant to automate our outside yard display. We love setting up our yard for Halloween, and while we didn't get as much done this year as we had planned, I was able to make some modifications, like this red glowing skull, and I think the updated embers under their cauldron look amazing. And of course, automating all of this is a must. When it comes to outdoor smart plugs, I haven't been impressed with very many of them. These Casa TP-Link Wi-Fi ones work pretty well, and the Mayros one works pretty good as well, although for some reason I can't find mine this year. But I recently added a Lutron outdoor plug, and this thing might be my new favorite. This video is not sponsored by Lutron. I just like their stuff, and it works well with Home Assistant. So when I needed another outdoor plug, I grabbed a Lutron one. And I was impressed as soon as I opened the box. This plug feels like it was built to be outside compared to some of the other ones that are mostly plastic feeling. Adding it to the Lutron app is easy, and if you have Lutron integrated with Home Assistant, the device just shows up when you reload the integration. It is a bit pricier than some of the other options, but so far it's been rock solid. I also really like that Lutron has its own frequency, and it can pair with multiple platforms at the same time without matter. And you could easily pair this outdoor outlet with a Pico remote, giving you a manual way to control these lights from inside your home when, for whatever reason, your automation just doesn't work. Lutron is having a sale on October 10th and 11th on Amazon. This plug may not be one of those items discounted, but some of their kits are expected to be 20% off. So if you wanted to get going on Lutron, this might be a good opportunity. I'll leave some affiliate links in the description. Make sure you check them out. Now to one of my favorite additions I made last year. We are big fans of Disney's Haunted Mansion, well, Halloween in general, but last year we picked up some Haunted Mansion themed stuff on one of our various runs to get home decor. We can't be the only ones that leave Halloween stuff out all year, right? Anyway, the problem I have with most of this stuff is it's typically motion based and that can get annoying really fast. I wanted to automate it and I didn't want to have to mess with electronics or programming. Although someone out there has probably already dropped an ESP32 in one of these and gotten them connected that way. But these things usually have these little buttons for testing them in the store. And you know what? SwitchBot makes the perfect little device for pushing buttons. Unless we're talking about my wife and then I'm the perfect device for pushing her buttons. <laughs> but that's a topic for a different video. SwitchBot isn't sponsoring this video either, but their SwitchBot bot was the first thing that came to mind when I was trying to find a slacker way to automate these things. First thing you'll need is to get the SwitchBot into Home Assistant. And being that it's Bluetooth, as long as you have the Bluetooth integration going, as soon as the bot is on, Home Assistant will give you the option to configure it. Once that's done, we just need it to start pushing buttons. I typically look for a place to mount the bot and the button where no one is going to see it. The SwitchBot comes with some adhesive that works well for this. 
For this skeleton seesaw, I just mounted it on the back, and then I used some 3M double-sided adhesive I had laying around to mount the button. And really, that's it. You can leave the motion sensor off and leave this thing in testing mode if it has that option. And then when you turn the bot on in Home Assistant, there you go. And the good thing about these testing buttons is that if you press it again, it will stop, which makes it super handy and will prevent it from getting annoying. Now you can automate this to play during your haunted sound effects, or even as a random notification, or even just to kick it off and impress your friends when they come over, if you have people come over. More friends. I'll leave some links to the SwitchBot bot in the description. Anyway, that's it for this one. Just a quick one to give you some ideas on how to use Home Assistant to automate the spooky stuff. I did link to the automations mentioned in this video so you can grab them if you're interested. Again, Lutron and SwitchBot were not involved in the making of this video, but they are two companies that I trust to automate my smart home. The links in the description are affiliate links, which help support Slacker Labs at no cost to you. That way I can keep showing you ways to automate the boring stuff.